Okay, so now next we are going to uh, use access to make two different tables and after that we need to set up the relationship between the two tables because in question number 9 we have to create a report. Okay, so if you come to question number 9 we see that okay we need to create a report like this. So in order to create the report we need to uh, open up the data in access. So in order to open up the data we have to open access, click on the blank database, give a name. So I will save it again. Always try to save in the same folder uh, when you practice. So solution and so database. So I will save this as uh, database of 20 19 November 2019 ok so we have <coughs> the database now we are going to import the files that we have created in our spreadsheet ok so we just created this one the main and the employer one so these are the two main files or the sheets that we need to open up so create or we go to external data, new data source from file that is in Excel format. So we go to browse and select the file. Employees. Okay, so this is the main one. So first, let's imp uh, import the employer one. So in employer one, we can see that okay, this is we have the employer, the address one, address two, address three, up to address four, and also we need have the employer code. So this is the first table. This is in the normalized form. So click next. So first row is the column heading, again click on next, so the no skip or import, so we can make this employer code as a primary key. So we can do it in our, uh, so choose my primary key, so we can choose the primary key as employer code. So employer code will be your primary key. Click on next and then we give a name, say employer. Employer. So click finish and close this. So this is the first table that we have just created. So and if you go to the design view, you can see that okay. So this is the first table which is created for us. And if we want to move this to the top, we can we can drag and move the primary key at the top so we have then again this okay so this is the table number one which is employer now since we don't need we can just delete it now the, we need to create another table <coughs> so Let's create the another table over there again. We need to select only the particular fields. So let's again go to external data, new data source from file, Excel, and the same one. We go to browse and we will go to employees. Click OK. So here we will select on the main one. So in the from the main one, we will uh, select the surname. Okay, so this is the main one. Then click on next, and the first row is column heading. Okay, then click on next. Okay, so we will need the surname, and we need the forename, we need the date of birth, we need the job, we need we don't need the place of employment so we will skip this do not import this so you can skip this one because this is already there in the other table and we don't need the address of employment we also skip this 
then we don't need this one because it's already there in the other table we don't need number eight either we don't need number nine so that of employment yes so we need the date of employment and then also we need the employer code so these fields we need so now click on next and then choose my primary key so we will no primary key I will choose later so click on next and then uh, we can give a name as employee and then click on finish close it so we have two tables now employee and employer so employer is this one and so let's go and take a look at the employee one so we go to design view so we have the surname the first name the date of birth job employer code and employee so these are the information so date we can change the database to date then employer code is already there so here we need to give a uh, arrange the field name so we never give okay the field name should be always put together so we can give underscore so there should not be a blank space when we give a field name so it should be always underscore so now we can give this one as a primary key the first name the last name as a compound key so that we can select this and give the whole as a compound key as a primary key again let's take a look at employer and also we try to format so employer code should be underscore address 4 address 1 address 2 address 3 address 4 we can move it down So an employer employee okay so please save it so once we are done with the saving so we will go to the relationship so we go to the database tool this is the relationship option but before that try to close the tables so close all the tables save it go to relationship so first add at employee then employer and then close it so we will set one to many so one employer code many employer code in the employee so click here and force relationship integrity so this will be one of the evidence so you can screenshot this and then after that we click on create so this is our relationship so then we can just close it so save yes so we have created both the tables and also we have set up the relationship so just click on here and we can see okay